Almost everyone I know that's dated people in the past before has at some point had a partner, boyfriend, girlfriend that either cheated on them, lied to them, and it hurt them. And the reason why that typically happens is because when we first start dating, we're newer, we're excited, we're naive, that's when we get cheated on. That's, why, that's when somebody, now this doesn't mean people are never going to lie to us again, but we create this mechanism to create filters. If there's a video that I want you to watch more than once, this is the video. Let me tell you why. In the world of business, if you are not careful and you go into this thing thinking it's going to be all beautiful and exciting, someone's going to cheat on you, lie to you, take advantage of you, put you out of business, take your money, do all that stuff. Because there's a famous line, and quote, I want, you to, I want you to think about this here. When a man with money meets a man with experience, the man with the experience leaves with the money, the man with the money leaves with the experience. You do not want to be the man with the money that leaves with the experience because you lost all the money. You want the experience and the money so no one can take advantage of you. And today, I'm going to cover with you a couple different things. One, I'm going to cover with you four levels of trust. And two, I'm going to cover with you seven different lies that people tell. And by the way, we all tell some sort of lies, but what type of lies it is, we'll break it down. So when you go into business, you'll be able to say, oh my gosh, I know exactly what's going on here. And you'll be able to categorize people right now in your business life in different levels. So let me start on this side here first. So trust, who do you trust in business? Who should you trust in business? Should you trust everybody? There's four levels of trust. Number one, from the lowest level, to the highest level. What is the lowest level? You've never done business with this person. They don't have a track record. You don't know them. They're a stranger. It's an absolute zero trust. Number two, it's a person that comes with a resume. Maybe they've done well in the past before. Maybe somebody recommended them to you and they got a nice resume. Track record. So your trust level for performance goes a little bit higher because they got a track record. Number three, you trust this person. Now you don't trust them at the highest level, but you trust this person because you've done some business with them in the past before and you know their level of performance. So maybe they're not somebody that you trust them with everything, but you know they're gonna go out there and they're gonna perform, right? It could be a teammate that you know, I can count on this guy to come and train and they're gonna perform. I don't know for how long, but I do know they're gonna perform at this level. Then there's the highest level. This I call a running mate, a running mate, mate a running mate. Generally here, it's only one person. Let me tell you who this one person is. It's a person who calls and says, hey Pat, we got an opportunity here. Um, I need you to wire $300,000. We're going to put into this company. No problem. Okay. Uh, Call the banker. $300,000 in this account. Done deal. Nothing. But there's only one person like this. Not 15 different people like this. So if you got a list of seven people here, too many. Very small. Maybe two, three, generally it's one. Possibly three, the longer you're around, you got a solid lawyer where everybody's involved and it's like a limited partnership, possibly, yes. But generally, there's one person that calls and they say, no problem. By the way, if you're thinking right now, you're watching this video saying, I don't have somebody at that level right now, that's totally okay. It took me a long time to find somebody at that level. You ain't gonna find somebody here overnight. It's like somebody who forces to find a wife and they get a divorce. It's like somebody who forces to find a husband and they get a divorce. You can't force this. This kind of needs to happen because you need to get some people that hurt you a little bit. You need to go through some black eyes. You need to get some good, some brawls and some people with experience in the out. That needs to happen to you because that's the only way your skin's going to really get, you know, thicker. And by the way, the more successful people you meet, the higher the success they reach, they trust less. They don't trust more, just so you know that. This whole books you read, you know, motivation, oh my gosh, it's trust is what it's all about. Great. This is here, authors writing that stuff, who haven't ran businesses and they're consultants. I'm talking people who run businesses, who are actually in the game, that are getting killed, hammered, fights, brawls, behind closed doors, all of this stuff that happens, their trust goes here. It's a fewer people they trust. And you need to get there at one point as well. So these are the four levels. So start exercising. When you're done watching this video, you're going to watch it again. Put people in these different categories. Matter of fact, Mario, why don't we make a PDF on this so people can go download. I just thought about it right now. We're going to make a PDF and you're going to be able to put people in these different categories. You'll download it. I'll give it to you at the end. Remind me to say about the PDF at the end. So that's the trust part here, okay? Now let me give you this other part here that we got, okay? This other part. Seven types of lies. 
We all tell lies, including you, including me. We all tell lies. But what type of lies do we tell? Seven types of lies. Number one, white lies. What's a white lie? Um, babe, how do I look tonight? Yeah, she looked like she gained 20 pounds. Babe, you look amazing, babe. You're lying. You're lying. That's a white lie. Hey, Dad, how was my baseball swing? Buddy, you're going to be the next big Major League Baseball player. And that swing was like this. That ain't a Major League Baseball. You're a liar. I'm a liar. But it's a white lie. We say that at times to make other people that we care about feel good about themselves. Number two, plagiarism. Plagiarism, I've worked with people who never, ever, ever wanted to give credit for ideas. I worked with a lady in the past before, always took credit for all the ideas. Plagiarism is somebody that got the idea from somewhere else, but never wants to tell anybody else about it. You'll hear some people on social media and, and, and on YouTube. I, I mean, I get annoyed when they say things. It's almost comical when they say, I don't read any books. All this stuff is natural. It just came through me. Like, do you really think we are born knowing ABCs? Like, ABC, I'm born. A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, E, L, M, X, Y, Z, now I know my A, B, C. You think we're born knowing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, somebody passed that information to you. But there are some people that don't want to give credit because it's me, because it's about them. I have a problem with that. When you get credit from someone, I got this from this book. I got this from this person says this, plagiarism, right? Next, exaggeration. What is exaggeration? Exaggeration, salespeople do it. Salespeople do it all the time. You know, hey, we're going to go out there and do this. You're exaggerating, right? Oh, we're going to, projections, we're going to go 79%. You're exaggerating. Now, why is that? There's a part of it that's because salespeople are very optimistic that they're going to kill it. And I've been in sales all my life. And you always think you're going to make more money this year than you do. And it typically ends up taking a lot longer to build a business. So exaggeration is another sort of uh, form of lie, by the way. Four. It's compulsive liar. Man, you got to be careful with compulsive liars. Once I figure out someone's a compulsive liar, let me tell you, almost everything they say, I can't debate it because it's just pure lies coming through. You got to categorize compulsive liars and be very, very careful with compulsive liars. It's not hard to catch them, by the way, because they're so good at always lying. They think they're so good, they eventually get caught. Once they get caught, their credit score goes from there to here. What are you going to do from there? Okay? And if they don't show any effort on wanting to improve that, that's just kind of how they are. And by the way, you're not judging, you're not doing anything. You just need to know that's exactly who this person is on what they're doing. Number five, blatant. You know what a blatant liar is? Blatant liar is somebody that looks at you in your face. They know that you know they're lying and they still lie to your face. That's a blatant liar, okay? They know that you know that they're lying and you know they're lying and they still say it to your face. Number six. Not keeping your word. Hey, I'm going to go out and go do this. They don't do it. Yeah, I'm going to come through hit about the deadline. They don't do it. Yeah, I'm going to come through. Amazon. They don't do it. Uh, you know, I just came back from Miami. I love this guy. I just went there for a funeral. Very emotional funeral. I, I left Salt Lake City. I went. I went over there. And we were there. We were talking with a few of our friends. And a couple of the names came up. Conversations came up. And I said, look, I had a lot of friends in my life that I knew I can't count on them to come through for nothing. I just can't count on them to come through for nothing. But I can still be friends with them, but I just know they're not going to come through for anything because they never keep their word. That's a lie. And last but not least is a deceiver. You know what a deceiver is? A deceiver is a, a person that takes, let's just say, all the information that we have here, and there's 80 pieces of information, but they only tell you two or three that benefit them and they try to deceive you, whatever that benefits them only. By the way, I do business with deceivers, but I know they're deceivers. And I also know what role they're going to play, but they're deceivers. I know exactly where they're at. And I still figure out a way to make money with them as long as I know they're deceivers. And you need to know that as well. So the point isn't here. Let me explain to you what this video is all about. This video isn't about you going out there and saying, well, bad, people are bad people, man. They suck. Everybody's out there to get me. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. When you get into a boxing match, you can't say the opponent is a bad person. All he wants to do is knock my ass out. No, no. You get better at defense is what you got to do. You can't go out there and change other people. You can't go out there and say, oh, my gosh, this guy knocked me out in front of my wife and my kids. He wanted to knock me out. It's his job to do that. Your job is to boom, 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 work on your core. Get yourself going. Get your arms up. 
be on your toes, energize, work out, condition yourself so you can last longer, you can go to the 12th round. You're not just a six round guy and all of a sudden, boom, you catch him. Because you see what he was trying to do, he was trying to deceive you. One of the guys that fights, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm getting knocked out, he's deceiving you, and you come and boom, he hits you, that's the deceiver. You just need to know all these people. And I'm telling you right now, this is not a motivational video. Those are the ones that go viral. This one is a video that purely is gonna make you and save you millions, millions of dollars of money, of legal fees, of all these other things that you're gonna face, but more importantly, let me see that pillow. You know what it's gonna do? Uh, I'm not asking you to subscribe right now. You know what this is? You know what this is? Oh man, it's a soft pillow. You know what's the great thing about a soft pillow? You sleep better at night. You know what causes you not to sleep good at night? When you don't know how to handle people like this. And when you don't know how to do this, and you face somebody, boom, they get you. You get caught. So for me, I have to decide the people I'm doing business with, they will generally tell you, I'm not here. I'm here. No problem. I'm here. It's okay. I do a lot of this. I know. I do this. Cool. We know. I'm this. I can deal with your white lies. I tell white lies every day to my kids. That's how you start believing you can do something bigger. I, okay, this is, but I know your roles and great and we work on that and we go from there and you will be able to do the same thing as well. And one day, not today, some of you guys are going to comment on the bottom. And you know what you're going to comment on the bottom? You're going to talk about your experiences. I had somebody in my business that was this. I had somebody that was in my business that was that. I had somebody in my business that was here. But what I don't want to see you do is the following. If you blame that's the reason why you didn't make it in business, what you're saying to the world is I don't control my destiny. Somebody else does. And you are not right. You're wrong. You control it. You control it. It's in your hands. All about pivoting all about adjustments, all about audibles, all about small little moves that you need to be making. And all of a sudden, you become somebody in a boardroom. Well, you sit in a boardroom, it's like a playbook. You go tick, 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 tick. Boom, 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 boom. I know everybody in this room. You guys ready? Let's negotiate. Boom, 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 boom. Cool? Awesome, thanks guys, let's go rock and roll. And you know you're protected. So anyways, um, I hope you're not a, somebody that's getting scared off this video saying, oh my gosh, I don't want to go into the world of business because the world of business is a pretty strong world of business. You're going to get into a lot of brawls and fights, and this is why entrepreneurship may not be for everybody, but if you got the courage to get into it and you face some of this stuff and you get very good at it, you end up becoming a hero to a lot of people who say, oh my gosh, I cannot believe how amazing he is or she is in business because you know how to handle some of these situations that some people don't. So who should you trust in business? Now you have a formula for them. Mario, we promise we're going to give a PDF. So if you go to, I'm going to put the link, we're going to put the link on the bottom. They'll find it. If you don't find it here, go to Patrick Bed David. Let's do this. We haven't done this for a while. Correct. Go to PatrickBedDavid.com. Does it still work? It still works. Man, still, this is like ridiculous. Can we like upgrade the sound a little bit? Let's try it. I like this new sound here. Okay, go to PatrickBedDavid.com. Uh, they should type in what? Who to trust in business? It'll come up. If you haven't subscribed to this uh, channel yet, for entrepreneurs, we want to get to a million subs by the end of the year. Click on the subscribe button right here and join the notification squad by clicking the alert. You'll be one of the first to get the videos every single time comes out. This is why you get the notification squad comments on the bottom. And uh, for all of you that are value tenures, you got questions, thoughts, uh, anything, stories you got about this video here, comment on the bottom. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.